My name is Bonesi Lelutuli. I grew up in a place called Nyanyadu, which is a village next to Dandi. So Nyanyadu is uh, more of a rural area. I liked growing up in there because, you know, we were forced to have a social life, interact with people, play with other kids, because um, we used to go to these boreholes since we didn't have running water at that time. So we used to play games, tell stories. So it was fun. You know, on a typical day, for an experiment day, I'll just come in, you're culturing microbes, you're coming in with your with your stuff and then you start uh, programming the recipe to do your experiments. But of course we have tea breaks, it's not like we just work. <laughs> you know, you get time to interact and talk to other people. In our lab we study drug resistance of tuberculosis bacteria. We use microfluidic devices with tiny chambers the size of a human cell. In these chambers we can test if TB bacteria live or die when exposed to different drugs. What's interesting to me is to see like an experiment, like from the first experiment when you have like the concept that this is what we want to do, this is what we want to solve. And then as you go in the process of solving it and then something else comes up, you discover something, you learn new things. And then like in the end, it's just something you've never even imagined. Things just keep evolving with science. So that's, I think that's, that's interesting. Growing up in Dundee, you know, that was when TB was striking and so many people died of TB and in HIV and some of them were my relatives. So with me, I wanted to be involved, you know, with the science from the basic science and, and find a cure. So that was just my driving passion. I majored in chemistry and biochem for my bachelor's. And then after my bachelor's, I did honors in biochemistry because I was more interested in living things. I'm currently uh, working as a master's student, a medical microbiology student, but I, I, I work at KRIT, which is KwaZulu-Natal Research Institute for TB and HIV. I must say that KRIT was the best opportunity that ever happened to me. I've learned a lot, I've met so many people. I've also worked with people from the US, uh, some other parts of Africa. So you learn a lot, you kind of interact and then that, that kind of broadens your, your perspective, you know, of the world and how life is. And, you know, we discuss stuff. So it's, it's a nice field, it's a nice interactive uh, field. Kerit has great facilities, so it's easier to do science. I can make chips, I can I use those chips that I made, made, culture cells, there's so many things. I can make videos, I can, and I've also learned like communication skills. I think that is very crucial if you are a scientist. With my qualifications, when I'm done with masters, I can I can work in uh, industry, like pharmaceutical companies, I can work in biotech companies, I can work in hospital labs, but then I chose to do a master's and then I'll do my PhD because I want to, to have an impact. I don't want to, to just have a job for myself, I want to touch lives and then maybe uh, create employment for others. What I would advise a learner who's considering joining science but then is kind of shying away from it, I would like just go for it. You you just need to work hard, focus on your on your studies and get good grades. Don't listen to the system telling you that thirty percent is a pass. It's not a pass. You need to, to do well in order to get to university and get bursaries and stuff like that, science is doable. It's, you don't really need to be like super smart. As long as you work hard, you communicate well, you listen, you take constructive criticism from, from other scientists as well, you will be great. I went to school which didn't have a library, which didn't have computer labs, which didn't have labs, we didn't have that, but then since that, did, that didn't stop me from, from doing science. When I came to university, I have never touched a computer in my in my life. It was hard. <laughs> Sometimes you'd cry, but then you learn. You ask other students to 
to help you. Didn't know what sulfur was and you know, I had never been seen a microscope, but then I, I did science because I loved it. 